Corporations are in a constant state of competition with each other. The bottom line is profit, and whatever strategies they can use to get it, they'll do, either through consumer research, competitive pricing, or improving product quality. For example, McDonald's and Burger King both jumped on the vegan bandwagon by making meatless burgers. However, strategies like these tend to require lots of invested time and capital, which can make this strategy somewhat unattractive. Sometimes, instead of putting their nose to the grindstone, so to speak, companies simply choose to market their product differently. This is done by treading a very fine line of deception and honesty. Oftentimes, marketing borders on the line of facts that are too good to be true. During the early 1960s, the American Cancer Society published several landmark studies that conclusively proved smoking tobacco was a direct cause of lung cancer. How did cigarette companies respond? Did they invest time and capital into making a healthier product? No, they pivoted to the medical findings by simply marketing their cigarettes as healthy alternatives to other tobacco companies. This was best illustrated on the TV show Mad Men, where ad executive Don Draper creates an ad campaign for the cigarette company Lucky Strikes to counter the damaging reports. The Federal Trade Commission and Reader's Digest have done you a favor. They've let you know that any ad that brings up the concept of cigarettes and health together, well, it's just going to make people think of cancer. If you can't make those health claims, neither can your competitors. So, we got a lot of people not saying anything that sells cigarettes. Not exactly. This is the greatest advertising opportunity since the invention of cereal. We have six identical companies making six identical products. We can say anything we want. How do you make your cigarettes? We breed insect repellent tobacco seeds, plant them in the North Carolina sunshine, grow it, cut it, cure it, toast it. What? There you go. It. There you go. But everybody else's tobacco is toasted. No, everybody else's tobacco is poisonous. Lucky Strikes is toasted. As in all things, including marketing, other cigarette companies followed suit and began advertising their cigarettes as healthy alternatives. Long story short, companies have always been to the truth on the quality or performance of their products just to have an edge in the market. This scenario with cigarette companies is a rough template that can be reflected in how shampoo companies have recently advertised their products. You see, I'm just a simple YouTuber. I harvest science content when I see it, and when I notice a crop of bad science being marketed to consumers, I see it's ready for the plucking. To avoid the unwanted blowback of saying not nice things about multi-million dollar shampoo companies, I'm not saying these hygiene products that market my sour shampoo cause cancer or are bad for your health. I'm simply pointing out the alleged science used to market the products. Recently, there has been a wave of commercials pushing the concept of micellar shampoo. And for someone like me who doesn't even know what brand of shampoo he uses, to notice this is kind of a big deal, which means it must be a pretty large campaign. New Pantene Micellar Series. With micellar technology that helps to deep cleanse and detox daily dirt and grime. Talks and nourish for free-flowing hair. New Pantene Micellar Series. Okay, so what's the issue? Micellar shampoo is nothing new, advanced, or different from any other kind of shampoo on the market. This is because micellar shampoo is an intrinsic property of all shampoo, and really any kind of hygiene product that you use to wash your body. Let me explain. All soap and shampoo are made up of molecules called fatty acids, but for simplicity, we'll just call them soap molecules. These soap molecules have two distinct chemical structures to them that allow them to clean your body. One end of the molecule is hydrophilic, that is, it's attracted to water, and the other end is hydrophobic and is therefore attracted to oils and grease. When the soap molecules are immersed in a mixture of water and grease, much like in a dirty frying pan, the hydrophobic ends group together around the oil, and the hydrophilic ends face outward toward the water. This arrangement forms a spherical aggregate of soap molecules. This sphere of molecules is called a micelle which is how we get micellar shampoo. It turns out this property is extremely useful for removing oil and grease from a surface. Micelles are present in anything you use to clean, whether it be detergent to wash clothes, dish soap to wash dishes, or shampoo to wash your hair. You can't wash away oil with just water because oil and water don't mix. You need something that will capture the oil, which is micelles. So what exactly makes these micellar shampoo products so special? Well, nothing. 
Much like how Lucky Strikes provide a false premise with their cigarettes as being healthy alternatives because they were toasted, companies that push micellar shampoo are also giving a disingenuous premise to the consumer. Again, this is because the micellar properties claimed to be in their bottle of shampoo are ubiquitous in all shampoo. It's really no different than saying, hey, buy this bottle of orange juice because it has vitamin C in it. But all orange juice already has vitamin C in it. Crap. Bonjour. Guten Tag. So we've all seen them, those chic Parisian women with their effortless beauty and flawless skin and hair. So how do they do it? Through sexually selective genes. One indispensable product in their beauty ritual is micellar water. Now this magical elixir is long popular in France. Oh yeah, because some imported products are superior, which means they have to say the magical micellar water is also imported, and apparently from France. From a creative standpoint, this is lazy marketing. Full disclosure, water from France does not have micellar properties, and to say that it does implies water from France is soapy. So what is micellar? A micelle is a tiny and powerful molecule. No, it's not. It's an aggregate of soap molecules. This is a single soap molecule. This is an aggregation of multiple soap molecules. This is a flock of birds. This is a bird. They act like a magnet, drawing out impurities, dirt and oil, and environmental pollutants. Hey, that's really great, except every shampoo in the world already does this. Hello. My name is Sylvia Kerr. Oh, look, they got a German scientist. Perfect, yeah, with the lab coat and the glasses. And, and I am in charge of developing hair care products at Schwarzkopf Professional. Our BC shampoos containing the micellar technology. Micellar technology. On the button, you see the hair fiber with all the impurities on it. When using the cleansing products, the micellar water works like a magnet on your hair, attracting and capturing all the impurities. Pretty much, it's like any other shampoo. Unfortunately, it's a sad truth that companies will take advantage of customers just to maintain a bottom line. I'll admit myself, it's difficult to avoid gimmicks like this, especially when they use fancy and intimidating science just to fool you. All that you can do as a consumer to avoid falling victim to sleazy marketing is if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. And most products are going to be more or less the same with slightly different levels of performance, which at that point comes down to your own preference.